Hey guys, it's Uncle Adams here, and I've been thinking about this for quite some time. And the reason I'm filming this video today is because I want to show you the simple way, the basic simple things that you need to know if you are new to music videos and you want to create your own music videos independently with you and your friends, okay? So let's do it! Uncle Adams! For starters, I want to say that this is not going to be all super technical. Um, music videos are like anything else. There are the basics that you need to know, and then there's the super advanced stuff, but I don't feel like you need to know all that super advanced stuff if you're just getting started, all right? So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Uncle Adams. I'm an independent rapper. I probably have something like 18 music videos on YouTube, but I'm not here to promote myself. I'm here to offer you value. If you clicked on this video, chances are you don't care about who I am. You just wanna learn how to make a music video, okay? But if you do wanna see what my content is like for reference, just type in Uncle Adams on YouTube and you will see the progression of my music videos from 2013 until, you know, 2021. And you'll see that they get better and better and better and better, okay? So, another reason I'm doing this is because half of my audience, I swear half of my fans, are also musicians because they're following me on my musical journey. So this is my way of providing value to that audience as well as other people who just want to learn how to film a music video, okay? So enough with all that, let's get into the basics. I'm going to give you the quick and simple things that you need to know if you are wanting to film even your first music video. Say you've never done a music video and you're watching this video because you want to film your first music video. Here's what you need to know, okay? Stuff that I've learned over the years. Number one, is you need a gimbal. I am huge on gimbals, okay? Now gimbals come in a variety of forms. If you're really new to this, you might even not even know what a gimbal is, but basically it's a little electronic motor that keeps the camera stable as you're swooping it and filming, all right? So here's an example of a really little tiny one. Um, so here we go, we'll turn it on. See that little thing? So if I'm filming, this is a camera, believe it or not, it's an Osmo Pocket, I just got this. Um, this is gonna be more for my vlogs, but this little motor is the mechanism, the gimbal, all right? So you need one of those in whichever form. It doesn't have to be this, although this little thing can shoot 4K. So I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna check that out. Now let's say you already have a smartphone, you have 1080p or 4K on your smartphone, smartphones are great, right? So in that case, get a little handheld gimbal from Amazon and you just put your phone in there and that'll give you those smooth motion shots as you're filming, okay? Because it looks really bad when you just have this shaky little homemade footage, okay? It looks bad and I've done it. I've done it in video logs, but people who follow me know that my video logs, my vlogs are not nearly as professional as my music videos. I don't feel like you have to be. These are telling a story and getting a message across the music videos I go more all out on, okay? So that's number one, stability. Get yourself a gimbal in some capacity. Get yourself a tripod. Um, you can do this with your, you can do this with your smartphone. You don't have to go out and buy a fancy camera. If you are gonna go that route, then go ahead. My friend and cameraman has some really high tech stuff, okay? But I'm not gonna go into all that in this video because this is for beginners, all right. So now you have decided whether you're gonna go with, you know, an Osmo Pocket or a gimbal on your smartphone. All right, you have that. Okay, now, if you're filming in direct sunlight, that's not the best thing. You don't wanna be in direct, super bright sunlight, um, but you don't wanna be in the shadows either. That's something to keep in mind. If you're filming at night, you have to be lit up properly with lights like this, um, because if not, it's gonna look grainy and amateur, all right? So, come up with your theme, 
you got your song, right? Come up with your theme, whatever outfit you're going to wear, and get out there and start filming, all right? That's the best way to learn. You need somebody behind the camera. You can't do this by yourself. You need your buddy, preferably a couple of buddies. Uh, what I usually do is I have someone playing the audio on a Bluetooth speaker. Man, I'm not prepared for this. One second, I'm going to grab the speaker. Something like this. Simple little Bluetooth speaker so that you can play the song, your song, on here as you film, right? Because you need your song in the background so you can go along to it and you can match it and you can get that vibe and the energy of the song, all right? Now, you don't need a person specifically to do the sound, but I like to. I like to have a minimum of three people with me. Um, sorry, two people with me and then myself, of course, the performer. One doing the camera stuff and another working the sound. So I can say, hey, restart the song, you know, and then you go again and again and again. All right, which brings me to my next point. Take many, many takes of the full song through, of just the first verse, of the chorus, from many different angles. Say one, you're just gonna, you're gonna stand there and you're gonna look straight and the person's gonna move around you with the gimbal, okay? That's a rap scene. As we call it, it's a rap scene, but it could be a singing scene for you or whatever. Um, say you wanna set up the tripod and do another one from a side angle. Just be creative and capture yourself singing or rapping the song from many different angles in many different um, locations and stuff like that, okay? Sometimes you use the same location, but you at least switch where you are on the set. Okay, now, I told you, this is quick, and this is what you need to know to get to work right now. This isn't some hour-long course where you got to know all the technicals. This is, let's go, let's do it, okay? So now you've captured your footage, right? Let's recap. You're using a gimbal so that you look professional on the movement shots. You're doing many different scenes. Uh, not only the rapping and singing scenes, but you also need to do what we call filler shots. So scenes where you're not necessarily singing or rapping. Maybe you're just walking. Maybe they're in slow motion. Maybe you're swooping. Maybe you're filming the surrounding area. That way you can edit in these filler shots into your singing and rap scenes so it doesn't look so repetitive, okay? It's hard to watch a video where they just rap and sing the whole time. You've got to break it up and put that variety in there, okay? That's another good tip for you. Now, you, you got your gimbal. You're making sure it's lit up at night. You're not filming in direct sunlight. You know, you try to find some variations there. It's not the worst thing in the world, but, you know, if you can't avoid it, try to. Then, um, you need to edit, okay? You need to edit. Now, there's no excuses for editing. When I started, I didn't know anything about editing. I would watch my friend do it, and I was like, wow, I, I'm clueless. But now, I edit all of my music videos. Why? Because of YouTube. Just type in on YouTube how to edit in Premiere, how to cut clips in this, how to do that, how to color grade. There's no excuse. You can look up all of that in other videos, but I'm giving you the meat and potatoes here. I use Adobe Premiere, okay? And here's a good tip when you're editing. I take my favorite rap scenes, even the filler scenes too. I put like six or seven of those um, tracks, I guess you would call it, of footage all on top of each other. Then I sync them all up and I splice here and I splice there and I, you know, that way you're not dragging in a clip and trying to match it up every time. You sync up a large amount of them and then cut here and move and drag and you can just, I find that you speed through the process way faster, okay? Watching this back, I noticed I missed a couple of things. One is that if you are going to stack up a bunch of um, video tracks on top of each other and edit the way I do, you're probably going to need a pretty good computer. As you can see, I have a, a really powerful computer there in the background. I never used to. I had a really crappy one for many years, so that's not an excuse either. If you have a crappy computer and you got to go just one, one uh, video track at a time, then so be it. Do what you got to do. Another thing I want to throw in here is that, I think it goes without saying, but some people might not know this, when you put all of the footage into Adobe or whichever editing program you're using, once you have it all lined up and stuff, you mute the audio in that footage. You only use the audio from your master track, the song that you're using that is professionally mixed and mastered. That will be the only audio. I know a lot of you probably know that, but some people are major beginners, so I wanted to toss that in. As far as color grading, 
that's another thing. So that's where you change the grade of the color in the footage to make it look more professional, cinematic, things like that. Again, there's a very advanced side of this that my friend and, and video editor does, but there are basic ways you can do it in Adobe Premiere and stuff like that, so I don't want you to get too hung up on that. I just want you to get your first video out, okay? So let's not go there yet necessarily, but if you want to do a little bit of stuff tweaking, you can. You can learn it, all right? So, get your speaker, get your friend, get your gimbal, get a mic stand, uh, not a mic stand, a tripod, uh, get a light if you're filming at night. I just say, if you're a beginner, don't even film at night, to be honest with you, because it, it's pretty advanced setting up the lights to make sure it doesn't look all grainy. Uh, I would just say stick to the daylight for now. Okay, now get out there, get your outfit. You're probably going to want to put on makeup. I'm not going to lie. People might think, well, why would you put on makeup? Well, Makeup is a part of show business. Every actor, every rapper, singer, Taylor Swift, they all have makeup on, okay? Because you're supposed to look that way in videos, all right? I don't do it in my vlogs. I don't care. I didn't even shave today. I just look how I look. But, you know, get your girlfriend to put some makeup on or whatever. Whatever you got to do. This isn't... I, the point of this video is to show you guys that this isn't some huge five, ten thousand dollar thing that takes all this... You could go do this today. You could go do this today after watching this video, okay? So get out there, film, edit, take your time, watch videos, render it, put it on YouTube, and there you go. I hope that this helped in the simplest way possible. Again, you might watch other videos where people go on and on and on and on about this and that and the technicality and this and the focus and the, you know, I mean, that's another thing too, focus. You can use autofocus or you can use the manual focus. I would seriously recommend using autofocus because if you don't know what you're doing and you don't get it right, you waste good footage, man. That has happened a lot of times with us throughout the learning curve. It still happens the odd time now. I would say if you're a beginner, stick with autofocus, all right? So congratulations for having the ambition to get started. And I hope that this made you realize that maybe it's not such a complicated technical thing. It's something that you can go out and get started today, all right? So Drop a comment, tell me your artist name and the music video that you're going to be dropping, and then who knows, maybe, maybe later on I'll go and check some of them out, but either way, get started guys, independent artists, shout out to you, keep going after what you want, how to make a music video, quick method, easy method, straight to the point, get out there and get at it, bye guys. Uncle Adams.